Hey, welcome back to another edition to the uh, well to the Electricians Two Channel. Tonight we're going to talk about a blast from the past. I know a lot of you who've been in the trade a long time. You may remember this. This is the Fluke eighty seven V. This was a this was a standard back in the days, and uh, it still is a standard today. But it just has so many other multimeters out there now, kind of clouding the field uh, out there as far as multimeters. The Fluke eighty seven V is kind of a it's kind of like a forgotten multimeter. But uh, back when I first started out, um, it was before the 87V, they had the 87 uh, out, and uh, they had a, a fluke header, the 27, fluke 27 or something. But um, this multimeter here, the 87V, uh, this was a standard, especially if you worked in a plant or on uh, any kind of machinery, what have you. When you pulled out a test instrument, it always was a fluke. Oh, I, and I know today, and I know back then they had a lot of good multimeters out, but it was rare. It, it was uh, a Bryman wasn't heard of. And if you're in a plant, you pull out a Bryman multimeter, or you pulled out of a a Greenlee multimeter. Every multimeter that any professional pulled out, it always was a fluke. Eighty-seven, eighty-seven five. That was the standard. That was the Abrams tank of the multimeter world, and to this day. This multimeter is still one of the best multimeters around. And Mikhail, I tell you, believe it or not, this multimeter here is over 15 years old. It's over 15 years old. And the reason why is that old, because I I don't have to stress it enough. I take care of all my test instruments uh, because they take care of me. Uh, I don't, you know, you'll never find this in a, in my toolbox along with uh, pipe wrenches and all that just No, I don't do that. Um, it works perfectly. There's nothing wrong with this multimeter. And uh, I've been having it that long, that long. But anyway, uh, just wanted just to bring this up to let you guys just take a, take a look at an old relic from the past. Uh, some of you know, so I'm sure some of you have stories about this 87V. Uh, I know I have a lot of good memories with it till still to this day. Uh, you know, I, I haven't used it in a while. It, it, it stays on the bench, but uh, I haven't used it in a while. Uh, but I, it's, it's still a, it's still my go it's still a go to multimeter. Put it like that. Of all the multimeters that's on market today, if I wanted to, you know, I feel sure about a measurement, I would go to get this Fluke eighty seven. Not maybe not. I would go get a Fluke. Uh, but if this around and I had to choose out of this one and some other multimeters by the name brands on the market, I would grab this Fluke eighty seven uh, um, V. 87.5. Now I'm I'm gonna take it I'm gonna take it through a few tests and just to let you guys see. Um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Not real no real real big test. I'm gonna I'm gonna take some uh, capacitors. Let me get my glasses. I'm gonna take some capacitors and just let's see how well it reads. These capacitors. Just grab some random random electrolytic capacitors and I'll see. You'll see just how well. Just how well it does. Okay. So. Okay. The first capacitor I'm going to use. First one I'm gonna use is no, it's diode. Let me see, capacitor. This is a three hundred and thirty microfarad capacitor right here. Let me just see how well it does. Say 300 microfarads. It's got a good grip. Three oh three. I have another three thirty here. That may be going bad. Let me see. This one is two twenty. I 
can pass it. Let me see. We got two twenty one. Okay, this one is it's, it's three thirty also. So we'll see if that one was going bad or not. Let's see, the other one was going bad. It's three thirty. Four twenty one microfarads. Switch the leaves around and just try it again. 422. Okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a really good meter, y'all. I really like this meter. This is 220 microfarads. I thought I had some different ones in there. I guess not. 222. Uh, anyway, these leaves don't, these was, was not the leaves that came with it. There was the, um, the TL something that, that came with it. I can't remember which ones it was. But uh, I put these better ones with it. These ones with the, you know, with the, 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 the handle that you can, I mean, the tip that you can scroll back and that. And I put the fluke vel Velcro around it, the leads. This is the thermocouple that comes with it. And, and I like to use, I like to use this, this banana connection right here along with this I like to use these sometimes I mean especially when I'm doing working on the bench doing electronic work I like to use these instead of the instead of the cable I mean uh the leads like this if I have to I would don't get me wrong but I like I like using this but uh other than that this is a real good let me see if it's zero out real good multimeter uh, Set. That's the fluke for you. That's the fluke for you, y'all. I'm not appraised for this fluke multimeter. This this thing is the bomb. Uh, so I just wanted to, I just wanted to uh, just let you guys see it. And uh, it was because I, I cleaned it up, y'all. It was kind of dirty. But I, I still left some stuff here. I cleaned it up, and uh, the the veil back here was broken, so I put a little glue. I have to sand that down. I'm just letting it cure a little bit more. Um, it broke. It still got a little dirt in there that I have to clean out, but I cleaned it up, and this is it, y'all. The back light still like flukes. The, the, the back light is not all that, but where's the back light? But you know, that's fluke. Pretty decent. It's enough. I have no complaints with it. So, uh, leave a comment, man. Leave your stories if you have one about the old this this Fluke eighty seven V. I'm sure you do. If you've been in, if you've been in the trade a long time, a, a long enough, I'm sure you had this meter or you used it before. But uh, you couldn't help but to run across me. I mean, during your time, your stint as being an electrician, you had to run across this meter once or twice in your life, if not used it once or twice in your life. But even if it's not your favorite, you had to use it because everybody did. Um, at least everyone I was around anyway. So, guys, you know, I just don't, uh, I don't want to hold you up. I just was showing my appreciation for my uh, my old meter here. And uh, just want to hear the stories that you guys have to tell. Uh, I, when I first bought this meter, I was working inside of a textile plant a long time ago in, uh, in the electrical department. And... Um, I used it for troubleshooting the machines and circuitry and things like that, and they never let me down. Uh, so, here we are. Guys, I want to thank you once again. Uh, hit that subscribe button. If you if you got any kind of value out of this video, I always say hit the, hit that, the thumbs up button. That helps. Um, leave a comment also. I love reading your comments. I love responding to them also. And uh, if you know anyone that can benefit from this, this video, well, you know, share it with them. But other than that, guys, you take care. And until next time, peace out.